Did you know that the editing style of Alex Ramosi is very familiar nowadays? And if you're interested on how to do it, I got you. In today's video, I'll be sharing to you on how to do the editing style of Alex Ramosi using Filmora 13. So let's start. First is to import the video that you will be using. So I'll be using this video as an example for this tutorial and then I'll be cutting the beginning of the video also at the end of the video and then I'll be splitting the parts that I want to put some transitions for later. After that, right click the video and then click speech to text and then choose which one and then click OK and then wait for it to be finished. Now, select all the text and then choose a font so I will be using Montserrat and then change the font size. As you can see, the text that was generated from the speech to text is quite unorganized so we need to fix this one by pressing the enter so that the captions will be put at the middle. Now I'll be splitting the text one by one. So what I'll be doing is to cut the text and match it on the voice of the video. Like this one. After you cut the video, now we'll be changing the font color based on the voice of the video. Once you're done, we'll be adding stock videos. So I'll be searching Shake Hands and then choose what video to use. So let's try this one. But before that, put the video on the first layer so it will serve as a background. And then insert the stock video like that and change the speed and then go to mask so let's try to mask this one and adjust it Now, let's try to use the AI portrait by removing the background of the main video and then put in a stock video again and make it as a background. It will depend on you on how you want your video to look like but this is the gist of the Alex Ramosi style. Now watch how I did this video.
you can also add some stickers based on the topic of the video like this one I use the question mark and then put some animations like that in effects Once you're done doing the video, just click the render preview in order for you to check if there's something lacking on your video. And if it's the final one, click the export. That's it. Thank you guys for